Hello everyone, welcome back to another bite size tip. Today we're going to be taking a look at the plugin called VGA Editor Core.exe. Um, basically what it does is it uh, recreates like the, the feeling of old school images when we had to use dittering to kind of like try to approximate uh, a realistic image using maybe like two colors, maybe three colors, four colors, 16 colors, like then it kind of gradually grew until what we have today, which is pretty much like millions of colors, which allows us to realistically and, and have like very high pixel depth images that look amazing. Uh, but let's get, take a look at the community page, just uh, just that you know, so you know where you can find it. Uh, you can find it uh, by typing pgaditorcore.exe. Of course, it's made by John Christoph. Uh, uh, Nanur, if I'm not mistaken, thank you for making this because I think it's pretty awesome. I'm going to for sure use it sometime, sometime in the future. Uh, go back to the sandbox. Uh, I had, I got this Macintosh classic uh, very appropriately from, from Unsplash. Then I removed the background with segment anything. Uh, let's kick it off. Let's do command for a slash to start the, the quick actions menu. Uh, VGA did the core.txt. Of course, it's already there because I was already like preparing this video. Cool. Now I'm in front, but let's take it. We have a selection. Very cool, like uh, retro style uh, interface here on the plugin. Also, let's import it. So you can start to get the drift, right? Like, so in this case, we have a, a four colors model. Uh, we can change like the amount of of basically pixels that we have to work with. Let's keep it at three. And then we can change, like we can remove it even like black and white. We can have Oberdin, which is pretty much like an homage to a game called Return of Oberdin. Uh, it's a really interesting game. Very, very hard to play actually, but uh, I haven't done, I haven't played it because of that. I feel like it's uh, not on my taste level. Uh, there we go, grayscale, and appropriately you have also like Game Boy, Sunset, and we even have the Macintosh. Uh, let's use that just just for fun. Let's maybe uh, keep it at three. You could also change the type of filter to have something a bit more interesting. In this case, let's let's go with the default one. Uh, we could change the contracts, not, not something we want to do on this image. We could also change here the brightness. There we go. I want to keep it as is. Uh, it can it can start like getting a bit of a feeling of what we can have here. Make it like super, super detailed. But let's let's keep it that way. Okay, cool. We got it on the on the canvas. Let's let's just do something cool with it. Let's create an auto layout frame. Then let's add a little fill, a little Tiago yellow. And now what we can do to follow the theme here is uh, we can remove all the saturation and then we can put like a, an overlay. No, let's put the multiply. There you go. You have a a cool little uh, retro style graphic uh, that's probably going to go on the thumbnail of this video. And uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you did, let me know in the comments and, and, and consider subscribing and sharing these videos because uh, it's starting to grow, but I, I kind of feel like we could grow faster. Just a little ambition here. Uh, so catch you later.